Hi everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. This is Mbos Kitchen and Inspiration. So today guys, I just want to show you uh, the spices which I normally use in my kitchen. This is a video that has been requested severally and today I'm here to do it. Yeah, so you'll get to know the spices that I can't do without, you know, while cooking. Uh, they take the food to the next level. So let's get into this video so that you can learn and see the spices that we use here. So the first spice that I want to share with you is Pilau Masala. Hey. This pilau masala is my best, my favorite, you know. For me, you'll realize that I like going for brands and for pilau masala all along. Ever since I started using this pilau masala from tropical heat, I stuck to it. I've done a pilau uh, video which has done very well. I think it has right now over 600 views, guys. Eh? I thank God. <laughs> yeah, so... The frequently asked question on that video is, which pilau masala should I buy? You know, which brand? So I decided, let me just do a video and show you. So if you are looking for uh, pilau masala, this is it. This is tropical heat pilau masala. Ah, I just love it because of the taste that it gives and, you know, it's just the best. Yeah, so if you've not watched my pilau video, what are you waiting for? You know you're missing out. I'm going to link it here. Ah, you better watch that video and learn how to cook your pilau. You'll love it. So Tropical Heat has not sponsored my video. <laughs> I'm just showing you the spices that I love using. So my next one is turmeric. Yeah, this is turmeric. And as you can see, it's from Tropical Heat as well. Yeah, so turmeric, I just love turmeric because of the taste and also the rich yellow color. Uh, this turmeric, I just love it. And you know, um, if you never used turmeric, it's yellow, as you can see, yeah. So I normally use this turmeric uh, uh, while cooking rice. I'm a person who doesn't enjoy uh, white rice, just plain rice, oh my God, please. <laughs> No, you can spice up your food. So if you give me white rice, I will not really enjoy it. So I normally like um, boiling my rice and I add a quarter spoon of turmeric. You know turmeric, you don't have to put like a lot. You just put a quarter spoon of turmeric and it will give you the taste and the color. Oh my God. So your rice will never be the same again. So I also use turmeric when I'm cooking my cabbages. Uh, it gives the color and the taste is just out of this world. So turmeric is also good in uh, in uh, beef stews. I cook my meat using turmeric. Uh, turmeric, turmeric, turmeric. Even when I'm cooking my green grams, beans, all my stews, you'll find me adding turmeric. Yeah, so this is it guys you can get it for yourself and i'm telling you your family and yourself will love this yeah it's so tasty and it has that deep yellow color the other i must have uh spice in my kitchen is roiko yeah as you can see this is roiko mchuzi mix and it's beef flavor yeah so this one ah yeah 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 I can't do without. <laughs> yeah, because it's uh, the most important thing that this record does is to make your stews thick. You know, you don't want to be cooking your food and it has, you know, the soup is so light that people are not even enjoying it. Yeah, so that's why I normally ensure that I have Royco in my kitchen. Ah, it comes in handy. This Royco. <laughs> Yeah, the good thing about Royco, even if it's beef flavor, you can still use it in your cooking chicken and you not feel like a difference. But uh, sometimes they have chicken flavor and the beef flavor. But I just love Royco. I add it in all, all, like all my stews. <laughs> yeah, so this is a must-have, Royco. 
I must have it there. Boss Kitchen. Yeah, so the, the other thing, uh, the other spice that I love is curry powder. As you can see, this is curry powder. Uh, curry powder is very nice because it also has a very, very nice taste. Ah, if you cook a stew and you add curry powder, oh my God, you're going to enjoy your stew, especially meat and, you know, chicken. It's any, it just takes your food to another level. This is a must have curry powder. Yeah, so you can also use it uh, while cooking rice. It also gives it that rich color. I've done a fried fried rice uh, recipe. Yeah, so you, I'll link it here also. You need to check that rice out. I used curry powder and I'm telling you that rice is just mwah. Yeah. Another a must have spice uh, that you need in your kitchen is paprika. As you can see, this is paprika. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but it's also from tropical heat. As I told you, me, I'm a tropical heat person. Yeah, so paprika, I think you'll be amazed. You know, Kitambo, or long time ago, I used to think that paprika is, you know, chili. I don't know for some reason why I used to think that. Because you see, it's red in color. Yeah, so it took me a while before I started embracing, you know, paprika. Then I came to realize, you know, do you know what paprika is? Paprika is just pilipidi ho that has been grounded. <laughs> Even it's here, it's written pilipili ho ho. So, hey, this paprika, uh, I use it in my pilau. I use it in all my beef stews and the chicken stews. Uh, even when you're making, maybe you have like potatoes that you just want to fry. After frying, you just sprinkle paprika on top of your potatoes. Ah, uh, I'm even salivating. <laughs> just the thought of that makes me hungry. Yeah, so this paprika is a must-have in your kitchen. And in Boss Kitchen, we cannot miss paprika. So get yourself paprika if you don't have it in your kitchen. Yeah, so guys, uh, as it is, so let me show you the other one. Chicken masala. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so don't ask. See, I told you, me, everything of mine is just tropical heat. Any tropical heat, they need to pay me. <laughs> yeah, so I love chicken masala. Oh my God. This chicken masala, uh, the taste is just out of this world. You know, when you're making that chicken, probably if it can be stew or you just want to deep fry your chicken, you know, when you're marinating your chicken, uh, this chicken masala comes in very handy. It has a very, very nice taste. Hmm? So this is a must have in Boss Kitchen. This one, I can't do without it. Yeah, so if you've never tried this chicken masala, give it a try. It's not spicy. You know, sometimes people uh, fear anything written masala. <laughs> They'll just know that it's so spicy, but it's not spicy. You know, me personally, in as much as I love cooking, I'm not a spice person. I, yeah, I don't like spicy food. Yeah, so I'll recommend chicken masala anytime, any day. Yeah. So another thing that we'll need is also beef masala yeah so this one also is from tropical heat this one is also good when you're marinating your beef or you're just cooking your beef uh the beef stew it comes in very handy i love the taste of beef masala uh this one is a must have <laughs> this one i always ensure that i have it in my kitchen yeah so if you've never tried beef masala just give it a try and I'm telling you, uh, your food will taste better and your family, your friends, everybody will be enjoying your food. You know, with food, uh, the, the thing that makes a difference in food is just the spices that you use, you know. You can be cooking your meat uh, the same way, but if you add just one spice, maybe for example, you've never used beef masala, then you just add it in your meat. You know, people will be asking, I 
and today this meat tastes different Kanye, what did you use yeah so that is the secret of having different spices in your kitchen so this one it's a must have so the next spice that i want to use, show you is oregano yeah oregano is very good guys this one uh i just love it you know even here it's written you can use it in beef you can use it in chicken pork lamb yeah so when you're marinating oregano uh, comes in handy even if you're doing a machoma you know and you just want to marinate your meat add oregano in that uh chicken of yours that you're marinating uh, make sure oregano is there <laughs> it will take it to another level yeah so oregano is a must have in my kitchen yeah so this one is also tropical heat okay you'll excuse me guys but me i'm a brown person as i said yeah so yeah this is a must have another spice that uh, i love to have is rosemary rosemary um i love it you know why i love it it's because i can use it uh in my tea hey. I don't love plain tea. You know the way people just cook tea, just put milk and you add your water and tea leaves and that's it. Uh, I would I always love to spice up my tea. And this rosemary, yeah, it comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, because when you put it in your tea, uh, it gives you that nice flavor. Have you ever tested rosemary in your tea? If not, you better give it a try. Rosemary tea is normally very, very sweet. Yeah, so you can also use it uh, in your stews. It comes in handy. You can use it in chicken, in beef, anything. Rosemary is a must-have. So you can use it for your stews and also you can use it for making tea. So this one, rosemary, is a must-have in my kitchen. So the other spice that I have is a mixed spice, but this one is not from uh, Tropical Heat. This is another company called Olay's. Yeah, so this one is a mixture of, it has cinnamon, it has ginger, it has cardamom, it has coriander, cloves, and nutmeg. Yeah, so all that is mixed yeah so this is a mixed uh spices it's very good uh, when you're doing your stews mm, ah, it takes it to another level so this one also is a must have if you want your stews to taste different and just to give you another flavor which is not usual because of the combination of the other spices i'll recommend that you buy the mixed spices ground pure ground mixed spices yeah so this one guys uh, is a must have <laughs> yeah so very important you must have it so last but not least uh, is the cardamom uh, this cardamom <laughs> it's very tasty and it comes in handy you can use cardamom when you are making uh, mandazis you can add it uh, to your da you can also use cardamom uh, when you're preparing your tea some people love cardamom for you know the tea yeah so this one is also very important and it comes in very handy i'm just trying to read to see uh if they've written anything but i'll just recommend it for your mandazis mahamri cardamom will come in very very handy yeah so one for those people who love cardamom in their tea yeah i support you <laughs> yeah so this is cardamom so cardamom it is yeah it is yeah so guys hmm? these are my spices let me show you well so guys these are the spices they must have spices in your kitchen yeah so if you don't have the spices yeah so just make a point of getting them I'm very happy to have had this opportunity to share with you all my spices yeah so if you come to my kitchen 
that's what you'll get. These are the spices that I use, yeah, and they take my food to another level. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching today's video. Please, let's all give this video a thumbs up, yeah, honey. You know, let's give it a thumbs up. Don't just watch and click out. Like it. If you've not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, and also remember to share. Click on that share button and also on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Yeah, so God bless you. I'll see you in my next one.